Yardbook, you have the ability to create one-time or recurring jobs and dispatch them to different routes. The routing optimization feature allows you to route up to 100 stops at a time, saving you time and money. Now we're introducing a new feature that will help you become better organized with jobs that aren't on the same day. This feature gives you a map view of job sites based on a date range, allowing you to select multiple jobs based on their proximity and move them to the same date. This feature is best applied to those jobs that have a flexible service date. It gives you the ability to group jobs together based on their location while improving route density. Here's how to use this feature. First, navigate to the job-based map view by clicking on Site Map, then View All Properties, and finally, Job-based Map View. This will bring up a search page for jobs. You can enter a date range here. In this tutorial, we'll select an entire week. Now we click on Search. On the next page, you'll see all the matching jobs displayed in the map view. Below this map, You'll also see the same matching jobs listed in a table. Most of your locations should not have an error, but if there is a job with a missing geocode warning, you can click on the Run Geocode Now link. This will check all your jobs and make sure they are geocoded properly for the mapping. This process will take you anywhere from a few seconds to a couple of minutes, depending on the amount of missing geocodes you have. Once this is done, you can bring up the job-based map view again, and this time you should not see any errors about missing geocodes. In the map view, each day will have different colored markers. This will help you quickly identify the job locations based on dates. For example, when I click on a red marker, it shows a job scheduled for the 17th. So, all red markers are linked to jobs from the 17th. As you can see, overall the current job dates are not ideal in terms of route density. Different colored jobs are all over the map. Ideally, we'd like to get to a state where most of our jobs from the same date are close together, like in this screenshot. That's the exact purpose of this tool. You can select one or more jobs from the map by holding down the Shift key and make a selection on the map. Once you mark an area, jobs will be selected automatically. You can do this repeatedly to select multiple areas. The next step in the process is to move the selected jobs to the same date. You can do this by selecting a new date, then click on the Reschedule button. The system will reschedule these jobs in the background, and when it's done, you'll see all those jobs now have the same color. You can do this a few more times to clean up the remaining jobs for your selected dates. Once your jobs are moved to a new date, you can optimize for that date and build the fastest route. Remember, if you have more than 25 stops, you can use the Optimize Route XL link. This feature supports up to 100 stops. In this example, we showed you how to optimize all the jobs. But if you have different crews or employees, you can actually do it per crew or per employee. When you set the search criteria on the first page, Simply choose an employee or crew name, and the map view will only bring up the matching jobs. This gives you the ability to optimize route density one crew at a time. The search page also lets you select different products or services, providing additional capability to focus on a particular set. In summary, this feature helps you improve your route density by grouping jobs based on their proximity and rescheduling them to the same date. Once that's done, you can run the Optimize Route feature to get the best route for that date. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and please feel free to contact us if you have any questions. Thanks!